Right boys, it's a new day and there are some new objectives for us to go over. If you guys don't know, obviously an objective guide, what we're going to do, we're going to go over all of these objectives, starting off from starting off from the top, working our way down. I'm going to give you guys my tips and tricks that I personally use to speed it up. And also, if necessary, we will build a squad. Some objectives don't really need a squad and you can just use any squad you want and you can just use your main one. Um, but if it is necessary, we will obviously build you guys a cheap squad builder between 15 and and 25,000 coins. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more player reviews, objective guides, pack openings, and all that good stuff. Basically, everything you would expect to see on a FIFA channel, we do it all. Now, without further ado, boys, let's get into it. So, starting off, this is once again, I say a four part. Wait, one, two, three. It's a three part, and then you do the fourth part for the fourth version of a card. So, it's a four part card, similar to the Chalibur objectives. But I would look at this card and I'd say, he looks really well rounded. I'm not sure what his in games would be like because his actual like his height in game. I believe he's got like an average body type and he's three star, three star. So I think it'd be a little bit of a stretch saying that he's better than Chalibur. But I think it's a very solid objective. And is it a player pick you get? No, so it's not a player pick. Like with a Chalibur, you could choose between CDM or center back. This one, you just give us 88 overall uh, Nunes card. But starting off, boys, you've got the assist four goals using Brazilian or Portuguese players. Now the assist four goals using Brazilian and Portuguese players just load into a match you cannot do other objectives in that same match whilst doing it because obviously this is the one objective you have to do to unlock the 81 version can be in any game mode can be in a friendly can be a friendly against your friend um, like literally get assist the forward and get your friend to back out could be a squad battles could be a division rivals could be foot champs but you just got to assist four goals using Brazilian or Portuguese players, which is simple as. If I had to recommend some cheap beasts for this, I'd probably say, obviously, <laughs> I'd say Neymar's the best Brazilian. He's not a cheap beast, but if you did his flashback and have him first owner. But if you are looking for cheap beasts, you've got like an 80-rated Everton, uh, something like that, for Benfica left mid. I mean, he'll do the job. You just need to assist. And then you will unlock an 81 version of his card. After you have the 81 version, sorry boys, I almost just vomited in my mouth here. Um, after you've got the 81 version, you've got the score 6 goals using the 81 version. The score 6 goals, once again, is not in a particular game mode. So you can score those 6 goals in a squad battles on, like, there's no rating cap as well. Um, or, or, sorry, uh, what's it called? Difficulty cap. Like, it's not score 6 goals in squad battles on at least professional. It can be in any. But then you've got the play 5 matches in squad battles on at least semi-pro with the 81 overall. So you may as well, obviously, play on squad battles on at least semi-pro so you can get this one done as well so squad battles semi-pro difficulty score six goals using this 81 card you could even play him uh, up front you could literally just play him on free chem up front i feel like he'd still be good enough to get the goals because obviously scoring a goal from the striker position is better than the center mid you could start him center mid then move him up to striker in game or you could just if you're too lazy like myself i'd probably just chuck him at striker on free chemistry and he'll definitely get the job done because it is only semi pro difficulty but you've got to play five matches on at least semi pro with 81 overall and you'll get the 83 rated um so after you get the 83 rated card it's going to take five games which is all in squad battles you don't have arrivals an option and uh, and assuming it's six minutes a half 12 minutes a game it's rounded up to 15 of loading and loading out that's 15 times five so it is 75 minutes it's going to take an hour and a quarter so it's going to take you yeah, an hour and 15 minutes to get this 83 rated card you cannot narrow it down because you can't really back out or anything um because obviously it is in squad battles strictly in squad battles it's just five goals using portuguese players in squad battles on at least me pro with the 83 uh, overall Matthias and Nunes in your squad. The assist five goals using Portuguese players. Um, once again, it's not in separate matches, so you just have to get the uh, five goals assisted straight away. I will build you guys a team for this, do not worry. Looks like you get a token from this here as well. But you've got the play seven matches in squad battles on at least uh, professional difficulty with the 83 overall Future Stars Nunes in your squad to earn the 85 overall. So after you play the seven matches in squad battles, whilst you're playing those seven matches on at least professional, you'll also probably want to be doing the assist five goals using the Portuguese players, you should be able to get the Portuguese assist whilst you are doing but in those seven games it will take you. Assist using Premier Liga, which is the Liga NOS, it's a Portugal Liga. Uh, players in four separate squad battle matches on at least professional. So I think we're going to go down like a full Portuguese Liga NOS type of uh, uh, cheap team for you guys to build. Uh, so happy days. Score five goals in squad battles on professional or on at least professional difficulty using 85 future stars. Now the score five goals once again 
again, you could even move him up to striker in game. So start him centre mid on full chem, move him up to striker, or you could just play him off, uh, on free chem at striker. Play 12 matches in squad battles on at least professional, and then you've got the play 25 matches. Now, for this play 25 matches, I have noticed if you do finish these and you've still got a couple left, because you've got to play 12 games there to get that one, play 7 there, so that's 19, and you've got to play 5. So you're going to be one game off. After you complete all these objectives, assuming you get the correct one done, and you can like you know do two birds with one stone so give a Portuguese assist whilst obviously working towards the one of five games needed for his 83 or 85 overall card um, obviously assuming you do that and you double up on him two birds with one stone it's the most logical thing right you're not going to want to focus on this objective and do the next one you may as well assist using Liga Portugal players and try and score goals with him so you can get you know both objectives done that, that's just like common sense that's just you know if you're smart enough to be watching this video on Switched Up, you'll be smart enough to be doubling up the objectives. But you're going to have one match left. Now for this, <clears throat> I know you don't really want to, you know, go into a Division Rivals or a whole new squad battles game to get that 25th game. And it's, this isn't, once again, this doesn't have a particular game mode for the play 25 matches with them in your squad. So you could either just load into a friendly, even though it might take a while to search for it, and then back out straight away. Also, I, I actually don't know if you can back out. No, I don't think if you back out, it will count. So actually, no, hold that for The quickest way to get this done is probably just go into a friendly match against your friend, get him to kick the ball out one minute in. He quits, not you quit. He quits, and you should get the game played just to, you know, make that last little process speed up a little bit. Lads, this looks relatively easy, but let's get in to my tips and also the squad builder. We're going to start off with my tip number one, and this is relating to squad battles. Now, this is all based on semi-pro to get the 83 version, and I think from the 83 onwards to the 85 in the final segment, it is on professional difficulty. So if you guys don't know squad battles, you get four squads each time. Usually you have two very solid ones. This is an average team, and you've got a 188 team with mid save Mbappe, uh, mid Maldini in there, so you get usually two solid teams, and you also get some lower tier teams. This isn't really a lower tier team, but it's got really low chemistry, so EA have classed it as a lower tier team. Like we're playing Chalabra up front on little to no chem, no chem, at, no chemistry at right back, no chemistry at right wing. But basically, I, I've already played this game. This was a really easy game. Now, what you do is you want to refresh. You get up to ten refreshes, and if you have no refreshes left, if it's not letting you refresh, you have to go into a game, then back out and you'll be able to refre refresh again. Um, but no, you just press square on the PlayStation, it's X on the Xbox, refresh your opponents, play a game, and then refresh again. For example, they have given us an 80 rated squad here with 46 chemistry. Yeah, this is a very beatable team. Players off chem all over the place. So I'll be doing it on obviously either semi-pro or professional, depending on the objective I'm trying to get done. Because obviously, playing a team with 46 chem and 80 rated on professional will be easier than a 189 or an 80, 186 rated squad, if you get what I mean. So tip number one, Keep refreshing and go from there. Let's get into the squad builder, boys. Remember the squad builder segment. It's going to be a team that you guys can use to get these objectives done. And it's going to come in between around fifteen to 25,000 coins. Right, boys. So this is a team we have built. Now, I did actually have a thought in my mind. EA actually worded the Portuguese League, which in this game, I believe, they recently changed it from Liga Nos. It is now Liga Portugal. Now, in the description, they, they named it Premier... Premier... Liga, which is the actual Portuguese pronunciation. So if you guys got confused with one of the objectives, I believe it was assist using Premier Liga players. That just means Liga Nos. It means the Portuguese League. It's just another name. Just thought I'd give you guys a heads up there. But this is a team we have built. Um, now, starting off at left mid, we've gotten for a 4-3-3 formation. We're playing him as a left mid on free chem. Obviously, as well, you're going to be wanting to use a card in your squad. Now, I believe all of his cards are centre mid, so you could probably replace... Let's say he was the worst one out of a lot. I'll probably say... you're eBay is probably the slowest, so I'd probably replace him. I'd probably want to have a Future Stars card central, so you'd go, obviously, you'd get the goals first to get the lower version of his card. Um, the 80, I think it's an 81 version you start off with, and then you've got the center mid you can chuck in there. Then when you get the 83, you could chuck a right mid on 7 chem, it doesn't really matter. Then, obviously, you get the 85 version, and you keep leveling up, and then you'll have the 88. So, obviously, this spot here will just give to his Future Stars card, and obviously, upgrade from there. But starting off at left mid, we have gone for Everton 
Hamilton, who I was actually talking about before, 5'9 high low, 4 star skill moves with a 3 star weak foot, but he has got that 89 agility, 84 balance. Being 5'9, I think he's got a lean body type as well, so he's going to feel good on the ball. Good agility, good dribbling, good body type, 4 star skill moves, relatively fast, he'll definitely get the job done. Up front, I've actually got no gold rear strikers in the Portuguese league, um, and obviously I think this is the only usable looking card. He still doesn't look great, I know, but he is 6 foot 3, he's 3 star, 3 star. Remember, all of his game modes are offline on squad battles as well, so he should, it should not be too much of an issue. You don't necessarily need to be so much meta in squad battles as much as you do managerial masterpiece or an online game mode like that, but you'll definitely get the job done. Right mid, we've gone for Rafa, 4 star skill moves, 5 foot 7 with 90 agility and 89 balance with 94 pace. This man is going to be a menace down the wing. Obviously, you've got a Portuguese right wing, a Brazilian left wing. It is going to be brilliant for the Portuguese slash Brazilian assists. Left center mid, we have gone for Jetson Fernandes, who is very well-rounded and actually feels really good on the ball. High, high work rates there as well. In the middle of the park, obviously, you could just use Uribe for the first game whilst you get the um, the goals using Liga Nos. I think, no, it's assist five goals or six goals with the Portuguese slash Brazilians to unlock the first variant. So you could just chuck Uribe here for the first game, get the Portuguese and Brazilian assists, and then you'll get this 81 card you can chuck in the middle of the park and obviously keep upgrading this 81 variant as you go. Right center mid is Pizzi, who once again looks relatively well-rounded. Left to back, we've gone for Sanusu. Um, six foot, not amazing balance of 69, but he's got 93 pace, and that's all you really need. He's an absolute tank, high, high work rates, 93 pace. He'll definitely get the job done. Now, left center back, we've gone for the man himself, who's actually unreal this year in game, is 82 rated Pepe. Right center back is Verissimo, absolutely amazing center back duo there. Right back is Wilson Manafa, and in net it is Vlachodomus. Okay, <clears throat> let's just uh, not try to pronounce that name, but this is a Liga Portugal team we have used. We've got the Brazilian and Portuguese players for the assists. The whole team is Liga Portugal for the goals, and obviously, yeah, I mean, using this card as a central centre mid, he's a centre of a park, you can target him. You know, as I was talking about before, when you're trying to score goals with him, what you could do is you could change your custom tactics and move him from a centre mid up to a striker in game, so he's the main point of focus, so it'll make it easier to obviously get the objectives done with him. Now, tip number one is going to be the bench. You can have any bench you want, so I would recommend chucking your best players that you do have on the bench, and you can sub them on, Maybe you're losing, something like that. For example, my Smith Rowe I could sub on at left centre mid. Neymar I could sub on at striker for this dude. My Marquinhos I could chuck on for this Brazilian dude. Something along those lines. Happy days. Now tip number three and the final, tip number two isn't it? Tip number two and the final tip I've got for today is going to be chemistry style. So let's take Rafa for example. And we are using Footbin Lads. I do have to mention I'm not sponsored by them. I have no affiliation with them. I'm just using this app because it is bloody brilliant. So as you can see on Footbin, you can see his in-game stats, 750 on the PlayStation, 800 on the Xbox, and 800 on the PC. And as you can see here, you can try out all these new chem styles on him. For example, with a marksman, he goes to 81 shooting, 94 dribbling, getting a plus 8 dribbling, plus 8 shooting, and he also, whoops, I mean to do that, and he also gets a plus 5 physical. As you can see in-game, he's an 87 rated uh, right wing and left wing. So although he's only 82 rated, with a marksman applied, he's going to perform like he's 87 rated. So tip number two is going to be chemistry styles. You don't have to go out and buy the most expensive ones for a particular player, like shadows for the defense, hunters for the attackers, but it will give him a very solid boost in game. Like this uh, Rafa card with a marksman, which is 200 coins, I've got 12 on me. Chuck that on Rafa, and he's going to perform five ratings better in game than he would without it. You've got a dead eye, which does shooting and passing. As I said, I would stay away from using Shadows and Hunters because they are expensive. But other than that, boys, if they're relatively cheap, chemistry styles, just go ham. If you guys did enjoy, hopefully the squad builder did help you out. And I feel like for the uh, other... No, technically it is tip number three if you count the squad battles one with refreshing. But mainly, what you want to do, start from the top. Obviously, you've got the assist four goals using Brazilian or Portuguese, which you can start your eBay in the midfield, get the assist. Then, obviously, you can work through via Score the goal with your overall one, blah, blah, blah. Play the matches, double... Make sure to double up on them so you can get the uh, score six goals with him whilst playing five matches in squad battles on at least semi-pro etc etc so overall boys just double up on them for the last game as well um because i think you'll have to play one more match when you're finished all of them you could just get a friend to like kick it out one minute in, and it should count because it doesn't have you know any particular game mode on it lads if you've got any questions let me know down below it's been your boy davis until next time see you later boys